Hey. You don't look very surprised to see me at your door like this. Yeah, I know it's late and everything, but I just got off of work and really wanted to see you, talk to you about some things, you know. See, I don't like how we left things off and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So, I figured I'd drop by rather than spend the rest of my night overthinking about shit I can prevent just by coming over right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll come in. Um, I'm glad you feel the same way. It's been a few months since I've seen you face to face like this. <laughs> yeah, you wish. I figure you missed it more than I did, but I came to you first, so I'll concede. But just this time, I... I see your hair's a little bit shorter now. It looks good on you. I take it you decided to do that after we... Yeah. I know, I'm so perceptive, aren't I? <laughs> so, I noticed you were at Sam's party the other night. I mean... How could I not notice when you were glancing over at me so often? I was surprised you didn't come over and just talk to me. Or slap me, I guess. <laughs> you were looking a little waved. I couldn't predict your next move. And I guess I really couldn't predict it because I saw you with them a little later into the night. And like, obviously, you're free to do whatever you want, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't know why you were doing these things. I can't help but feel like you're doing this as some sort of way to get back at me or get my attention. <laughs> Jealous. I'm not the one and you know it. I heard from Jess that you weren't even planning on turning up to the party until you heard that I was going to be there. So don't try and act smart with me right now. <laughs> I don't give a single fuck what you're up to. But when it clearly involves me, how am I supposed to turn a blind eye? You had an objective when you went to that party. I don't get why you won't just admit it. It's like you enjoy seeing me pissed off. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. This is a recurring thing with you. As soon as I have a point, you suddenly don't want to hear it anymore. So this is my fault, huh? Okay, tell me why. You know that we were, how many times do I have to tell you this? I wasn't seeing her. I have absolutely no idea how and when you concocted this in your mind, but you sound fucking ridiculous, all right? Okay, what else do you have to say to me? You might as well get it off your chest, right? Mm-hmm. Keep going. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So, I don't listen. I'm dumb. I never cared enough. And my dick is... Sm m finish that. <laughs> you know you can't because it's not true, just like everything else you listed. You're just so frustrated right now that you're willing to say anything you can to make yourself, I don't know, feel better, more credible. I mean, I don't give a fuck though. Pick your poison, baby. I'm intolerant to all of your bullshit. Even when you're acting like a bitch. 
Yes, like a bitch. <laughs> you want me to come and say that to your face? Well, you think I won't? I said, I'm intolerant to all of your bullshit. Even when you're acting like a bitch. You know, this could have been much simpler. I don't understand why you have to make things so difficult all the time. What do I have to spell out for you? <laughs> Just talk to me. Text me. Call me. You have my phone number. You don't use it. So you think about hitting me up often, huh? Next time, act on it. I'll be here in 10 minutes every time. And for the record, I was being honest when I said I really wasn't seeing her. We were great at a lot of things, but communicating wasn't one of them. And I'm sorry I didn't convey that to you soon enough. Better late than never, though, yeah. Right, right. I'm just saying, if you're willing, we can give things another try. Complete transparency and all. You'd like that. <laughs> Somehow, I just knew you would. But for right now, be a good girl and get back up here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I didn't say take it off. That's my job. <laughs>